So a lot of times we we'll refer patients to physical therapy before the surgery so they can work on strengthening, conditioning, and flexibility of the knee joint in anticipation of their upcoming surgery. The better condition that the patient is in heading into the surgery is only going to play well in terms of how quickly they can, recon they can recover. A lot of people talk about different factors that go into a speedy recovery, but the reality is how fit the patient is going into it really is one of the key determining factors for that. On the day of surgery, I'll be actually signing that knee uh, and putting a yes on it to confirm the site of surgery. The surgery itself will last anywhere from 90 to 120 minutes. Most knees are made of a type of metal, cobalt chromium, on either the top or the bottom portion, maybe of titanium. And there's actually some other brands that have like oxinium, which is a specialized coating. The key about the knee replacement is that we try to recreate the shape at the end of the femur, and most knees are of this similar design. A lot of people think that we're gonna come in and just chop off the ends of the bones and stick something in that makes a knee replacement. This is actually what the end of the femur looks like when we finish or finalize our preparations. So it's one shave there, two, three, four, and five cuts on the end of the bone to reshape that knuckle joint so that it will accept the implant when we cement it into place. And on the shin bone or the tibia, we make a single cut a transverse cut straight across. In the middle of the joint, we use the polyethylene shim, so this is the plastic component, and this part can actually be replaced. On the back table, we actually have implants that aren't the ones for implanting, that we can put the cap on the femur bone and on the shin bone, and then we take different, we have different plastic thicknesses to make sure that we have good dynamic tension to the joint. So you want to get good soft tissue uh, balancing to the knee so that your dynamic tension is restored so you do not have too much play, that you have a fairly snug knee that is uh, equally balanced in extension and flexion and everywhere in between. The typical recovery period for a patient undergoing a routine knee replacement is anywhere from, on average, two to six weeks. So after surgery, there is pain and there's swelling. That's typical. You're independent within a few weeks. Most people are off crutches within a few weeks after surgery. There's really very, very few limitations. The only one I request my patients not to do is to run for sport. I much prefer a patient hop on a stationary cycle or a bike. So biking is unlimited, hiking unlimited, walking, no problem, swimming, outstanding. One of the myths I frequently run into in terms of patients coming in to see me is that they've been told by someone, well, you can only have one operation or maybe two and then you're in a wheelchair. Well, I can tell you that's just not the case. Patients can have both needs done at the same setting. There's, there's no real restrictions to doing it from the surgical standpoint or from the surgical team, provided that the patient has adequate medical clearance. But as people ask me all the time, am I gonna get taller from my knee replacement? It's not so much the patient's gonna get taller. If they have significant angle to the knee, the bow-legged or knock need, we correct that or we align, realign it back towards straight which may seem like the leg is getting longer, but it's really not. It's resetting it back to where it was once before.